Hi and welcome back to the Citizen Channel. We're all staying safe and well on one of our regular features where we have a little look at what's inside. So we're going to have a look at what's inside this uh, successful game on the night. Uh, a 1 0 win for City. Of course, uh, the magical Mara is on the cover there. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment of the, <laughs> tonight's game. But uh, yep, so there you go. We'll have a look at the match day home programme for the City Arsenal FA Cup game. Uh, a 1-0 victory, of course. That was round four, so we're in the hat for the fifth round. So let's have a look at this magazine today, just a, a quick one today. There will be, yes, a certain Q&A as well feature at the end, uh, excerpts from this programme of, with a certain Willie Donachie, one of my heroes as a, as a kid. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. It's great to have you on board. It's been City Past, Present, Forever, all these little magazine blogs. And if you're pushing buttons, or you've already pushed that button, if you can push that little like button as well, especially for these programme watches that don't seem to get as many views as other things. I, thought, I know some people out there like them, so you can give us that like button a push and get that thumbs up. Uh, make an old City fan very happy and be very much appreciated. Yes, it's the Cup, so again, we get a reduced programme, don't we? Uh, normally 84 pages for £4. Sadly, uh, £4 for 68 pages. We don't get any discount uh, for this, but hey, that's, that's just how it is. That's, that's just how it goes. A lot of the clubs don't, don't do a similar thing, so we can't really blame City, I suppose. Uh, subscriptions are available. You can buy these independently, of course, uh, from reachsportshop.com. Uh, for face value plus £1.50 postage. But if you want a subscription to www.reachsportshop.com, 26 issues for £97.50, that saves you 25p an issue. Saves you a little bit more with Champions League ones because they're more expensive, they're £5. And if you're outside of the UK, £65 in the EU and £80 extra for the rest of the world. And you can also get, it's not on the on the page in the magazine, you have an advert in, in the magazine, it's not on there, but you can actually get 12 copies for £45 as well. So we go from Magical Mares, to say, not so much for this game unfortunately. We have other regular features as in Pep, uh, we perhaps a bit wee bit more genuine love out there for his rival today and the little wording and how his sentiments are of course uh, for Arteta returning to our place the piece on Mara's himself concentrates more on his let's say more successful recent games since uh, since the World Cup break hasn't it? he's played uh, some good games I say. Not, not so good this one but uh, it sort of uh, features and concentrates on that more uh, interesting start, 42% shot accuracy. I think he's got a slightly higher one for penalties, about 70-odd, 80%, something like that. And, okay, but <laughs> doesn't stop us whinging about the ones he misses, does it? And 253 tackles he's made in the Premier League in 278 games. Uh, so he's almost managed one a game. He works very hard, doesn't he, Aria? Head-to-head's got Cole Palmer against Gabriel Martinelli, a little bit of a mismatch. Uh, is there anything favourable? Not really. No, not not that much. Uh, Palmer in fourteen Premier League apparent appearances, his shot accuracy is, is a pretty pathetic seventeen percent. Martinelli is thirty five percent in seventy six games, and tackles. Yeah, Palmer tackles are just five to Martinelli's seventy one. So a little bit of a weighted, unfair comparison. Double agents, which we have a look at. Uh, players who played for Arsenal and City. We've got David Seaman. Yes, uh, he did play for City. He may, he may have blinked and missed it, but he managed 26 games before for us before hanging up his ponytail, that's for sure. Ex in the City. And we will go back to this in a moment, of course, with my... I remember being the buzz, the buzz on the kip acts when this guy... Uh, Pardon the pun with buzzer, but this guy, Willie Donachie, used to go on a run up that left wing. Uh, Glimpardo had a sim not quite the same effect before. He was my hero before, Willie Donachie. But, uh, well, you know, there's just a little buzz about the kid packs when he sort of was on our side and he started wandering up that left-hand side. So a little bit more of that in the Q&A in a moment. I'll read a little excerpt out from the article. But, uh, yeah, one of my favourites, Willie Donachie. I always remember, though it wasn't for City, but I always remember an own goal he scored as well for Scotland, uh, uh, where he sort of, the goalkeeper sort of came out a bit too far and Willie Donachie thought he did he thought he was stood near his line and he ended up welling it back and scoring on goal. I always remember that. I don't know what game it was, you might know, give us a shout. 
thought that sticks in my mind, but not particularly anything for City. That just sticks in my mind at international level because I remember being so disappointed for him at the time. Matchmaker picks out 10 key games for a play, and this time we've got Mr Akanji. Uh, he's got obviously featuring games for Winterthur and Basel in Switzerland, the Switzerland national team, Dortmund, of course, and of course City. The City Arsenal quiz. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll give you a little question now. I'll give you the answer before we go. It's question eight. Interesting one. Which Arsenal player was sent off at the Etihad last season? So that was a 21-22 season. So which Arsenal player was sent off? City women feature. Uh, a little look at the current unbeaten run. I think it stood at 13 when this programme was put out. City under 18 features defender Will Dixon. And the EDS features a look forward to a game at Palace. And that's it, sadly. No buzzword. Kitted out. No, no, none of that with Mark McCarthy. We've got no City reflections with Gary James. And no Kevin Cummings with his photograph. So, yeah, it's, it's a little bit disappointing with the these cup programmes, in, in fairness. You know, you, you get, you're paying four quid out for basically less pages and less good content as well. Some of the better articles have been taken out. Anyway, back to this piece on Willie Donachie. I'll let uh, read out the uh, I'll do some some new some of his older stuff when he first came to City. Then just one at the end where he's what what he's up to now, which I didn't know anyway. So X in the City, uh, Willie Donnelly on living the dream as a youngster, playing in front of the Kip Axe, well running and playing, working with Royal and Key in life after City. Just just not all the questions, just three or four of them. I'll read out the first question he was asked. Well, you were a teenager when you moved from Scotland to join City just after we'd won the league title. In 1968, yeah, he just missed out, didn't he? Uh, that must have been an exciting time for you. Willie said, I was 16, almost 17. City had just become champions. It was fantastic. It was like a family then. I think there was only a small number of players who had played the whole year when they won the league, and the rest were young guys. I was in digs with three other players, four of us in a room, and we just had a ball laughing all the time, playing football. It was just a dream. He was asked, "Did any of your first team players take you under? Did any of the first team players take you under their wing?" He said, "When I got to the edge of the first team, the senior players were all very supportive. Franny Lee took me to his house for a meal. Mike Summerby would take me to his his hairdresser. We used to train every Monday at Withinshaw Park, and we'd all try to get one of the first team to give us a lift. We all wanted to get in George Heslop's car because he had the best car at the time, a big Rover." He was asked, you spent 12 years at the club as a player. Was winning this League Cup in 1976 the highlight of your City career? He answered, that was a fantastic experience playing at Wembley and winning the League Cup, which was more important then. But my goal was always to win the league because that shows you are the best team. Unfortunately, we were second a couple of times and never got to win it. But they were all great times at City and I loved playing at Main Road. Kipats was always where the main group of supporters were and that was right next to the pitch and that made it special, especially if you were playing wide. It was a great place to play and a great atmosphere. I miss it. Yeah, so so do all so so say all of us of a of a certain vintage and he was asked uh, what he's doing at the moment. He was asked just before we go, he was asked, Are you still involved in coaching? And he said I was coaching Montserrat, and now I coach Accrington Stanley under 14s. Uh, who are they? I think who are they? Who are they? Uh, which is all, which is mainly at weekends. I've always helped out with the younger players. One of the most rewarding things as a coach is when I was coaching Newcastle under 18s, and just about every one of those players have a career in the game somewhere. And for me, that is a, that is a real success. There you go. So just a little excerpt from X in the City there. Uh, Mr. Willie Donick, as I said, one of my childhood. Yes, I even I felt I felt like a child at the time. Yeah, all right. I'm probably not. He's not got too many years on me, but certainly one of my young my heroes as a, as a young man stood on the Kipax, uh, watching him in the in the sort of seventies there. And obviously, as, as I grew up, he sort of, I sort of grew up with him, didn't I, at that stage? Anyway, thanks for, for looking out for this one. As I said, you can get these individually. As I said, the cut ones are never quite as good. I mean, it's worth it just for Willie Donnelly, isn't it? Not quite as good because you just don't get as much in it. And the quiz question, of course, before we go, I don't want to forget that. Question eight in the programme was, which Arsenal player was sent off at the Etihad last season? And, of course, it was Mr Granit Xhaka. Granit Xhaka was sent off. Yeah, did we win 5-0? 
could do with that again, couldn't we? So, uh, we'll see, we'll see. So join me for the next one. Join me for the next home programme watch, which will be against Aston Villa. And keep your eyes out for those away ones as well, which uh, we do mark and put in a little league table as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Please, until we meet again, oh, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Bye for now.